so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, you and I get to learn about matter. <laughs> yeah! Did you know matter? Yeah, it's anything that takes up space. I'm matter, <laughs> and you're matter, and learning about matter matters. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, there are three kinds of matter, three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> A solid is anything with really tightly packed particles. <laughs> yeah, hmm. just like my glasses. See, these glasses are made of plastic, and they're really hard. <laughs> They're a solid. Hmm, another state of matter is a liquid. Yeah, a liquid, it's not so tightly packed, it's more loosely packed. Kind of like water you might drink. See, the water flows and changes shape. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it went from the big container to the small container. Mm -hmm. And move around and take all types of different shapes, especially when you're drinking through a bendy straw. Ah, ooh, <laughs> so delicious and refreshing. Hmm. Hmm. And the last state of matter is a gas. A gas isn't tightly packed with particles like a solid, and it's not really loosely packed like a liquid. <laughs> A gas is really free and flowy with particles that go all over the place. <laughs> yeah! Just like that. It's also the air we breathe. <gasps> it's really fun to use the gas or the air we breathe to fill up a balloon. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> well, it was really cool learning about solids, liquids, and gases. But did you know that some things can be two states of matter? Yeah, not just a solid, or not just a liquid. Hey, why don't you and I make some slime? Or oobleck. <laughs> yeah, oobleck can be a solid, and it can be a liquid. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so much fun to make together. But first, we need all of our supplies. Looks like we have a bunch here. You'll need a bowl. Woo. <laughs> yeah, a bowl. And I have a lid too. And the most important thing is cornstarch. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go, it's snowing. Woo, <laughs> cornstarch. And I also have some really fun orange glitter Ooh. for some decorations. Hmm, what else do we have? We have some water <laughs> and oh, some cool food coloring. <laughs> so we can make it my favorite colors, orange and blue. <laughs> I think we're all ready to start making some oobleck. First, I need to make sure to put on my apron, because it can get really messy when you're doing experiments. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're all ready to start. So first, we'll grab a bowl, and we'll grab a measuring cup, and we're gonna start filling it up to one third of a cup. Just kinda Fill it up. It doesn't have to be exact. It can just kind of be as close to one third of a cup as possible. Whoa. Okay. So now we put the cornstarch in. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, for oobleck, we need two parts cornstarch to one part water. So let's do that one more time. Cool. 
Cool. So we put in all the cornstarch, and now we just need to put in one third cup of water. That's all oop like is. Just cornstarch and water. Here we go. Fill that up. Yeah. That's all you need, just a little water. Pour that in. And now, <laughs> it's really fun. You get to use your hands to mix it all up. Ooh, it's gonna be really sticky. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. Mixing up this oop like is so fun. Look, it's so sticky. And the cornstarch is mixing up with the water. Yeah, you can slide it around. Make sure it all gets mixed in really good. Here we go. Mixing. <laughs> Whoa, it's starting to feel really sticky and really slimy. Hmm. <laughs> this is a really fun thing to play with. It's really cool to touch it and mix it around. <laughs> well, I think we got some oobleck. It's looking really good. Hmm. I'm gonna wipe off my hands with paper towel. I think I'm gonna put a little more cornstarch. If your oobleck is a little too runny and watery, you can just take another scoop of cornstarch and mix it in. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else to make this oobleck super special. I'm gonna add some glitter. Whoa, okay, here we go. Woo! <laughs> this oobleck's gonna be really pretty and really sticky when we're done with it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mix it up a little more. So now we have the oobleck and the glitter all mixed up. This oobleck is awesome. Well, oobleck, like we were saying, is a liquid and a solid. See, when you take the oobleck and you pour it, it pours like a liquid. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Wow! pours just like a liquid. Hmm, but it's not just like a liquid because if you take something like a spatula or your hand, normally a liquid would be really messy and splash everywhere when you hit it. But with this spoon, see, when I hit it, it doesn't splash at all. Mm, no, it is tightly packed and staying where it is, <laughs> just like a solid. Whoa, Oobleck is amazing! <laughs> See? Whoa! <laughs> well, that's really cool. But did you know you can do so many different things with Oobleck? <laughs> yeah! Come over here and we'll check it out. <gasps> this right here is a really big speaker. And you can try this experiment at home too. We covered it with some plastic wrap. And then we're gonna pour some oobleck on top of the plastic wrap on the speaker. Whoa, look at it go, so drippy. Okay. And now that we have our oobleck on the speaker, we get to play some music. <laughs> yeah, music. When we play the music out of this speaker, it will make the oobleck dance around. <laughs> Whoa because the oobleck is kind of a liquid and kind of a solid, it will do some really cool things. <laughs> Let's see how it dances. Oobleck was dancing and making all kinds of really fun shapes. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Well, that was a really fun experiment. 
but one thing you should remember is never put Ublek down the drain. Mm -mm. You should put it in the trash. Because if you put Ublek down the drain, that's a different experiment. It's called the plumber. <laughs> so silly. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'm gonna keep playing with some Ublek! I'll see you soon! Bye bye
me Blippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. <laughs> and you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not gonna learn about tunes. We're gonna learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look, <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow, all right, let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa! And today, yeah, you and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa! And maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa, this is going to be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> first, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa. Okay, let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay, all right, let's see. One quarter cup of salt. All right, it is definitely already getting really messy. Okay, one quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, perfect. All right. Okay, let me zip this back up. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name. <laughs> That's so fun. Cream of tartar. <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. We go and we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit but for now <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here then we have a half a tablespoon of oil okay whoa this is where it might get a little messy okay Put the lid back on, just so it does not spill. That would be bad news, Barry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. Do you know what H2O stands for? Yeah! <sighs> water. <laughs> I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flour. You should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. And you can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So, let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but 
that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's gonna make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Wow, check it out! Wow, whoa, homemade clay! Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're going to make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then now you can use these. Yeah. They're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Whoa! Yeah, check it out! Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look! <laughs> Cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, Let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that, whoa, pull the sides away, wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly, look, what is that, yeah, it's a little poochie, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> okay, we'll save you, we'll put you right there, perfect. All right, one pooch and one airplane. Huh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L. Huh, a B, a P, an I, and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I, we would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect. 
All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, and if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we've got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. Alright, nice little L right there. Yeah! So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah! Whoa! Okay, B, L, I. Yeah! B, L, I. What's the next letter? Yeah, P, and there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah, the color orange. B, L, I, P, we need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B L I P P. What's the next letter? B L I P P. Yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right. Now let's make one more thing. Huh? Hey. Well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters. Yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft, so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I am definitely making a mess with all these small pieces, so. Look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See, you can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon, and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, but you go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look. There we go. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow. <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands Roll it around. Yeah, look. It's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah, and it was really fun. Yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah. A doggy. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, 
All you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B oh, L I P P I Blippy. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, hey. It's me, Blippy. And look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather? <laughs> Tickle. Or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Okay, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these, do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit, and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow, <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa. Light! <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. <laughs> put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute. Okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Well, how about you just take a nap, just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yay! 
yeah! This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah. Because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect, there we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now, we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Woo, 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 Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Rain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa, whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand.
sand Bulldozer constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer clearing the land Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over. Here comes the it's bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Ring, ring. Woo, <laughs> Put in the box. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet colorful beach ball and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is going to reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are going to be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's going to move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah. The water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect. So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast? and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity, yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe their sharp edges. 
there's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video.
Wow. <laughs> Good job, water bottle. Wow, that was so much fun learning about velocity with you. And it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
And then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh. Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see, is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this, it's a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, so cute. This is a small rolling pin. Whoa, and this is a big rolling pin. Whoa, they're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because you can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah. Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. And flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right, there we go. And uh, let's see, how about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream, okay. Put that down, and now, I think we're ready. Hmm. Uh, looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure, I hey. Hi, brought... hey, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna to wanna to do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. And there we go. And perfect. Great job, Lippy. All you. right, next we're gonna wanna crack an egg. Okay. Let's see, so at Young Chef's Academy, we crack an egg using the table, not the edge of the counter, so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess. Okay. <laughs> You want to crack hard oh, and use your thumbs to break open the egg. Just like that. Perfect. You'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Luffy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. Here we go. 
go. Let's rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Next, we're gonna to wanna to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So this looks about right. Yeah. So is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is. It's dried breadcrumbs. Okay. All right. Oh. I'll just use that. Okay. One big scoop. All right. In the same bowl? Yeah. Oh, so sorry. In a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, hey, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices, okay. which is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. Here we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. In the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Thank you. Wow. Salt is so yummy. Here we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And <laughs> How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right, next we're going to want to put our egg into this mixing bowl, the clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay, here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh. <laughs> all right. And we're going to want to use a little bit of water. This in with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork. And let's whisk the egg. Whoa, did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay, all right. Perfect, and toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not going to touch the egg with this hand. We're going to put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay. Take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Oh, I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay. Wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're going to want to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Good that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you want to put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. 
These are gonna be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. <laughs> Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right. Go. Awesome. Now we're going to want to do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to want to get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready. And we're going to use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Job, <laughs> Next, we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay, a little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. All right. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Right. Don't forget, we whisk with our whisk. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half, and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay, yes, I'll try it. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> okay. Here's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay, put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. And remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. 
Wow. Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Wow, check them out. Oh my gosh. All right, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and Zesty Ranch are all ready. Oh, good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. Silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of food. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> good job cooking. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yeah, it was so tasty. Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. Weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah, hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Check it out. Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. <laughs> Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! 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 Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow! Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue and white. Whoa, wee. Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa. Check it out! Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are... Whoa! It is so stormy out! Yeah! It is white and green! Woohoo! Let's go!
The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet. Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain. And then all this rain collected from the top. Do you see how much it says? Wow. Yeah, it says about two inches. Yeah, that's just over five centimeters of rain. Wow, that's a lot of rain. Okay, I'm gonna pour it back onto our planet Earth. Because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, check it out! Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, 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 a rainbow. Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas. It goes up in the air and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud. That cloud looks like a piggy. Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud. That cloud looks like a T Rex. <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, 
in a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray. There's wind and some rain. It looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. A lightning bolt, that thundering sound. There's a storm coming any moment now. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods. Sometimes weather can be dangerous. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet. Everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped and the sun's shining again. Icy blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me, Blippy. I'm just taking a stroll. Yeah, I'm just walking along and enjoying the outdoors. <laughs> hey, check that out. Do you see that big yellow sign? Yeah, that is a road sign. Yeah, road signs are all over the place around roads. Hey, and do you see that? Yeah, there's two people with an arrow pointing down. And that is pointing down to this. This is a crosswalk where we can cross safely. <laughs> Let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you cross any road, yeah, safety first. We need to look both ways and make sure no cars are coming. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, looks like we're ready. <laughs> yeah, let's go find some more road signs. Check out all these road signs behind me. Whoa, come here. Wow, look at this one. What two colors is this road sign? Yeah, yellow and black. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bumblebee. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how this road sign doesn't have any words and letters on it? I know, I thought so too, but this means caution. Yeah, if you see this, you need to be very weary. <laughs> Whoa, this is a lot of letters and words. It says, no parking anytime. Yeah, no parking anytime. That means if you're in a vehicle or maybe a bicycle, you should not stop where this sign is. And you see this sign down here? Yeah, this one, yeah, that's the logo for no parking. <laughs> so these signs basically mean the same exact thing. <laughs> Whoa, look at this sign. Wow, they use this sign closer to the destination. Like if there's a store, then this sign might be nice and close. B 
because if you have a state disabled parking permit, then you can park at this location. Wow, dead end. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this sign, yeah, this is a dead end sign. That means that this road that you see right here, yeah, it goes to an end, which means you're gonna have to turn around if you're in a vehicle or if you're walking, you're just gonna run into houses. So I'm gonna probably go this way. Second, what does this sign say? Do not enter. Yeah, that means that you cannot go that way. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Do you see that? If I want to go over there, I probably have to go way around. Well, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. Hey, what two colors are this? Yeah. Black and white. Whoa, and it says pedestrian crossing. That means, yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot of people walking near this sign. Yeah, especially if you're driving, you need to be careful of the pedestrians. Yeah, that means there's people walking. points to where to go. Maybe you're following a path? Yeah, and if it points this way, then you probably should go this way. But if it points this way, woohoo! <laughs> wow, what color is this sign? Yeah, white and brown. And this says, this area closed at dusk. Hey, do you know what dusk is? Yeah, that's when the sun is going down and it's becoming nighttime. And then dawn is the opposite. That's when the sun is rising and it's morning time. <laughs> so this area is closed. You can't go there at dusk, nighttime. Whoa, and two more signs. Whoa, these signs are getting really big. Speed limit, one five. One five? Yeah, where I'm at, that's one five. 15 miles per hour. But maybe it's 15 kilometers per hour. If you don't live where I live. But that's a speed limit. You wanna go 15 or below. So you could go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <laughs> Could you go 16? Nope. <laughs> Speed limit, 15 or below. Whoa! Last but not least, whoa! Yeah, a stop sign. Look at how big this stop sign is. Whoa, I didn't think they would be this big up close. Wow, how do you spell the word stop? S-T-O-P, stop, yeah. And do you know what stop means? Yeah, it means to stop. Yeah, say you're going or you're driving, and then you see the stop sign, oh, then you stop. <laughs> After you stop, then you can go. Hey, I have a fun game. Why don't we turn on some music? And when we see that stop sign, yeah, we're gonna stop what we're doing. But in the meantime, we're gonna dance. Hit it. Whoa, good job! 
Wow, this has been so much fun learning about all these street signs with you. Have you liked all these street signs? <laughs> yeah, it's so cool how they tell you what to do anywhere you go. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Stop. Go. When I'm in my fast car, I want to drive away. Put my seatbelt on. Driving out in the street Sun on your face, accelerator at your feet We can drive around the block again and again Here's a special sports car The doors open up, up to the stars What a funny way to get in And look at these big wheels turning Round in my fast car, I wanna drive away Put my seatbelt on, put my pedal to the floor And drive all day Cause I feel so good With the wind in my hair Round in my fast car We can go anywhere Every car has an engine that makes it fast, keeps it going Just put gas in the tank and you're ready to go The sports car is shiny and new The headlights light up the road for you We can drive it round, it's so much fun! And look at these big wheels turning Round in my fast car, I wanna drive away It's me, Flippy. Whoa, and I'm drinking some really tasty orange juice. Mmm, <laughs> it's so tasty. And it's sweet. And it's my favorite color. <laughs> the color orange. <laughs> hey, I wonder where orange juice comes from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. It comes from oranges. <laughs> Silly me. Oranges are so tasty and really good for your body because they give you lots of vitamins and energy. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at this! There are so many cool, colorful fruits. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> Look at these fruits. These are really fuzzy. Ooh. <laughs> They're soft. Oh, yeah. These fruits are kiwi. Whoa. They're the color brown. Hmm. But kiwi, if you cut them open, they're the color green. And they're really sweet inside. Whoa, blue. <laughs> they're really cool. I'm going to save these for later. Whoa. Hmm. Look at this fruit. <laughs> this fruit is really big uh, and heavy. <laughs> this is a watermelon. Whoa, and the watermelons are really big and tasty. <laughs> yeah, they're the color green, but kind of like a kiwi. If you open them up, they're red inside. And they have lots of little teeny tiny black seeds that'll grow up to be other watermelons. <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool. We learned about all these different colors and fruits. <laughs> and we learned about orange juice comes from oranges. Whoa. <laughs> hey, but now that we know where orange juice comes from, where do oranges come from? Hmm. Maybe they grow up really tall in a tree. 
Hmm, or maybe down in the ground? Hmm, I'm not sure. But I know a great place that you and I can go. We can find out all we need to know about oranges. <laughs> hey, will you go with me? It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Showcase of Citrus in Claremont, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And today we get to learn all about oranges. Growing oranges, picking oranges, juicing oranges. <laughs> yeah! I'm super excited and hungry because oranges are really tasty. Not only that, but it's my favorite color. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Come on! <laughs> hey! I'm so excited to learn all about oranges. But first, you and I get to go on a really exciting adventure ride on these big monster trucks. <laughs> yeah! Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on! Whoa! Look at it! These wheels and tires are massive! They're even taller than me! <laughs> Whoa! I just love monster trucks. Whoa! And look inside this wheel! It's really big! It echoes! Oh, hello. hello! Whoa, I am so excited to get in one of the monster trucks. And hey, look, it's the driver. Uh, hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Amy. Hi, Amy. <gasps> I think Amy's gonna take us on a monster truck ride. This is gonna be great. Come on. And hey, look, it's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, come on on. Let's go. We're riding on a real life monster truck. Yeah. Let's sit down and get ready to start. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah. That's a really loud engine. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. So Amy, I really like oranges. Will we be able to pick some oranges to eat later? We will. Ooh. Can we just pick any oranges we want? So we only have a certain amount of oranges that are available to pick. Some of them aren't ready yet, Ooh. but we do have lots of them. Well, how do you tell if an orange is ready or not? So how you tell is usually by the color. Um, sometimes though, it's usually more of when you feel it. Make mm. sure at least it's a little bit soft. Ooh, we like oranges that are nice and soft and juicy. We don't want an unripe orange. Blah. No. Are those normally green oranges? They actually are. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so actually, you know during um, fall how the leaves mm -hmm. start to change? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with oranges. They start off green and once it gets cool, um, they start to turn that nice yellow orange color. Um, and that is when you know they're ready to pick. Whoa, that's so cool. I didn't know that before. But you have leaves in fall that are green and then they turn my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. And Amy's telling me that it's the same thing with oranges. They're green and not very good to eat. And then they get nice and sweet and tasty as orange oranges. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun riding the monster truck with you. Well, I'm really excited because Amy's gonna help us pick some oranges in the orange grove. Yeah, come on, let's go pick some tasty oranges. <laughs> All right, so to start, you're gonna need your bag. Oh, we got our bag. You're also gonna need your picker. This is to help to get the oranges that are way high on top of the tree. Okay, and next we'll use the picker. Okay, so we need to pick some oranges, but do you remember what color we needed to pick the orange at? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yellowish orange. See this one right here? Yeah, this orange is the color green. And it's a little firm, so it's not quite ripe yet. We wanna find one, hmm. I don't see any on this tree. Hmm. Let's keep looking for an orange that's the right color. Come on. Ooh, there are so many oranges on this one. <laughs> hey, Amy, let's pick this one right here. So how do I pick this orange? All right, so we're gonna do is you're gonna pull and okay. twist. So I'll sit that yep. down. We're gonna pull and twist. There you go. Twist and pull. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> you got two. I picked two oranges. Yeah. And look, 
They're a nice yellowish orange color, which means they're gonna be super sweet and tasty. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put these in our orange bag. Mm -hmm. and pick some more oranges. All right, gotcha. Okay, let's get this one up All here. Right. We're gonna use the picker because it's too high up for me to get. We'll grab it with the picker and then gonna twist it. Whoa! <laughs> hey! And we got it! And then you just reach into the picker and you got yourself a tasty orange. Hmm. Thanks, Amy. Welcome. Hey, and look, this orange tree has some really pretty white flowers. Huh. What are these white flowers called? Those are orange blossoms. Huh. Well, they sure are really pretty. What are these uh, flowers for? Just pretty decoration? No, so actually these are gonna end up turning into this. What? No way! Yeah. Did you hear that? Those pretty orange blossoms are gonna grow up big and strong and be a tasty fruit. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to eat some for myself. Hey, how about let's pick some more and then we can taste them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep picking some oranges. Pick them down. Whoa, here's another one. Uh -huh. One. Pick a second one. Two. Let's get another. Three. We can fit one more in there. Oh, we can fit one more. It's looking pretty full. Here we go. And four. <laughs> yeah. Four oranges. And whoa, it looks like I filled up the entire bag with oranges. <laughs> yeah. These are going to be really tasty and juice or just by themselves. <laughs> Well, thanks so much, Amy. You're welcome. Let's go eat them. Come on. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun picking all of those tasty oranges from the orange grove. And now we get to enjoy them by making some tasty orange juice. Yeah, we have everything we need right here. We have some cups. Ooh. <laughs> we have our oranges. That'll have all the juice. We have our juicer. <laughs> yeah, and this juicer will put the oranges in here and that'll squeeze out all the juice into our cup. And last but not least, we have our cutting board and we have a knife. Now, the first thing we need to do is take our orange and cut it in half. But just remember to never use a knife without a parent's help. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it. It's so colorful inside. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, look at the inside. There's all these little parts that hold in all that sweet orange juice. Yeah, and look at the outside of it. All that little parts that are all white, that's called the pith. Yeah, the pith is a really healthy part of the orange. So if you're ever eating an orange, make sure you eat that part too, because it has lots of healthy vitamins. Cool. Okay, so we have our oranges cut in half, and now take the juicer and a cup, put the orange in the juicer, and we're gonna squeeze really hard, and we'll watch as all the juice comes out of the bottom. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. Whoa, woo. <laughs> yeah, and then you just take the orange out, Put them right there. Put in the other half. <laughs> Whoa, look at all that orange juice. Whoa, it's really good that we have this juicer to help us get all the juice out. Otherwise, it would be really tricky juicing these oranges. Also, if you look at the bottom, the orange juicer has all these teeny little slits. Yeah, and those slits help to catch all of the seeds inside of the orange. Yeah, each orange Woo, these are kind of hard to pick up. Has these teeny tiny little seeds. And the seeds are gonna one day grow up and be really strong big trees. First, the seed, you plant it in the soil and a little leaf sprouts up. And then after you water it and take care of it for a little bit, it'll become a seedling, which is kind of like a teeny tiny little baby tree. And then it grows into a small tree and then into a really big adult tree. And it will grow fresh oranges to pick off the tree. <laughs> I 
Well, we already picked our oranges, so I'm gonna get to cutting and juicing so we can taste some yummy orange juice. Let's go! <laughs> Look at this one. This orange is red inside. Whoa, <laughs> that's really silly. Yeah, that's cause this orange is called a red navel. <laughs> it's colored red, but it'll still be really tasty. So we'll choose some of these too. was a lot of oranges to make this yummy cup of orange juice, <laughs> but I think it's all gonna be worth it. And now we get to taste the fruits of our labor. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is really tasty. It's super sweet and really healthy too. Did you know that orange juice has lots of vitamin C in it? And it's really good for immunity to help you fight disease and stay nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have another sip. <laughs> so tasty. Well, thanks so much for helping me learn how to make some orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Whoa, that was so much fun picking oranges with our good friend Amy at Showcase of Citrus. <laughs> They were so tasty! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at this! <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Bubbles Lab! Yeah! And look at what it says! Sink or float! <laughs> yeah! I love that game! Sink or float! And I have a really good idea. How about we see if the fruit that we learned about and these oranges will sink or float in some water. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this stuff. I am so excited for sink or float. Whoa. And it looks like we get to do a science experiment. Yeah, a science experiment. <laughs> do you know what that is? That's when you make a guess about something, like if it will sink or float, and then you try it out to see if your guess was right. <laughs> Let's go see if some fruit sink or float. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's all the delicious and colorful fruit from earlier. We have all kinds. Hey, let's start with the strawberries and see if they sink or float. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you think? Will they sink or float? Whoa, look at it. <laughs> they float to the top. Whoa, those strawberries are having a fun time floating. Woo, <laughs> let's try another fruit. Hmm, whoa, what about this fruit? This is an avocado. Let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna drop it in. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Three, two, one. Whoa, Whoa what's it gonna do? Oh, look at it. It sinks right to the bottom. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay, it's time to try one more fruit. Hey, what about an orange? Let's try the orange. Woo, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, <laughs> that was bouncy. Now look, the orange floats to the top. Wait a minute. Oranges have peels. What if we peel it and try it again? Okay, let's try it. There's a little one, and it doesn't have its peel. It looks kind of silly. Ooh, <laughs> let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa! Did you see it? Yeah, 
We know something sinks or floats because of density. If an orange with a peel is kind of loosely packed together, then it's gonna float. But like the peeled orange, if it's really tightly packed together, oh, <laughs> then it'll sink to the bottom. Wow, that was so much fun doing a science experiment with you of sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, all that sweet, sweet orange juice has me in the mood for some sweet, sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah, let's do the OJ twist together. And here are the moves. Do you remember how we picked oranges with Amy? Yeah. Grab the orange, and then you twist, and you pull it up, and then you have an orange. So that's what we're gonna do. Grab an orange, grab an orange, and twist. The second step is to have lots of fun and jump around while you're doing it. I'm so excited to dance with you. Let's go. Now take your hands and move your fist. You're doing it. The OJ twist. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this, this, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this, this, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. <laughs> was so much fun spending the day with you at the Orange Groves. Oh, <laughs> we got to do so many awesome things, like eat oranges and pick oranges and drink some tasty orange juice. <laughs> yeah! Oh, and we even got to do a really cool bubbles lab where we learned if oranges sink or float. <laughs> and a lot of other things. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. E L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>
Whoa! Look at them all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look at this over here. Do you know what shape this musical instrument is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. And guess what? The name of this instrument is the same as its shape. It's called a triangle. <laughs> yeah, triangles are really cool and make a very, very pretty sound. Hmm. How about I hit this triangle, this little stick, and see what sound it makes. What do you think? Should I play the triangle? <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three, triangle! <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's play it again. Whoa! If you close your eyes, it kind of sounds like a little fairy. Or maybe the bell telling you that dinner's ready. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this triangle is really cool because it makes a really pretty ding sound. But depending on how you hold it or hit this triangle, it can make different sounds like this. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> Maybe not as pretty, but definitely cool. It would make some really interesting music. You can also hit it soft for a little ding, <laughs> or really big and loud for a big ding. Here we go. Whoa, triangles are so cool. Hey, and look at this over here. What's this? Hmm. Well, this doesn't look like a musical instrument because it's not a musical instrument. This is a metronome. Yeah, this is really helpful if you're trying to keep the beat and stay on time. Mm-hmm, yeah. See this right here? This metronome is gonna move and tell us how fast the beat of the song is. Okay, here we go. And with this metronome, you'll see something really cool. Do you hear the dings? <laughs> Whoa, see, it moves back and forth and tells you the beat of the song. <laughs> Whoa, I'm getting a little bit dizzy after dancing like a metronome. Woo, <laughs> that was really fun. Hey, it's really important to make sure to stay on beat and something like a metronome is super helpful to keep you on time. <laughs> Oh, and look at this! This is awesome! <laughs> I bet you might have seen one of these instruments before. Yeah, this is a keyboard or a piano. <laughs> yeah, and this keyboard is really awesome because it's an electric instrument. Yeah, this electric instrument means it needs electricity or batteries to make it work. Whoa. And look at how cool it is. It has all these keys, see? It has some white keys. Yeah, a lot of white keys you can press with your fingers and some black keys too. Yeah, in between the white keys. You can press those too to make different notes. Hmm. Notes, what's a note? Hmm, let's turn on the keyboard and find out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa, that makes such a pretty sound. If you press one of the keys, it makes a note. <laughs> if you press a different key somewhere else on the keyboard, it'll make a different note. Whoa, that note sounds different. It also makes me feel a little different too. <laughs> note sounds pretty happy. <laughs> this note sounds a little confused. Whoa! <laughs> and you can also play songs using lots of different notes. <laughs> the cool thing about a keyboard is it has so many sounds, you can make all kinds of songs. Like 
maybe you want a song to be a little spooky for Halloween. Woo! <laughs> it's like a ghost is around. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty fun though. And you can also play things that are maybe a little more classical or serious. Whoa! <laughs> it's making me thirsty for some very yummy tea and cookies. <laughs> you also can play other things instead of just using your fingers. Whoa! You can be really silly and use your whole hand. Like, if I change the sound and make a fist, I can roll my fist and play a song. <laughs> Whoa, that's a really funny song. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again. Oh, keyboards are so amazing. You can even make songs that sound magical. Music is so amazing! Hey, and when you use notes, it makes the song sound even better! <laughs> hey, earlier we made up a song about a tambourine, but we only had beats. Now that we have notes, let's sing a new song with some notes! Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Flippy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We sang a song using notes and made up a song using beats. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about musical instruments with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, good. Here we go. P-L-I. P-P-I. Flippy. <laughs> good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to keep playing some sweet tunes. And hey, this one even plays itself. Bye-bye. Me, Flippy! <laughs> and today we're here at Feast on This <laughs> in San Diego, California. Whoa! And I am so excited because today you and I get to learn about a catering company. <laughs> yeah! They make all kinds of tasty food at special events like birthdays, ooh, <laughs> or weddings. <laughs> yeah! This is gonna be so much fun! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Look at this really cool kitchen! And hey, who's this over here? Hello! <laughs> it's me, Blippi! Hi, Blippi! Hi! What's your name? My name is Michael, and I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> and this is Matthew. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hello, I'm Chef Matthew Baker. I am the owner of Feast on This Catering Company. And guess what? I'm deaf, so that's why I have an interpreter who's here with me so we can communicate. Ooh, that's so cool! Hey, I have an idea. I bet Chef Matthew will help us cook some yummy food! <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think we're all ready to get started. Great, come on over. Come on. Whoa. So, Chef Matthew, what are we cooking today? Hmm. So we're gonna make fruit pizza. Ooh. And it's gonna look like this when it's all done. Whoa, look at it. It's a pizza, but it's covered with different types of fruit. <laughs> and I'm really excited 
because I love pizza. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, Chef Matthew, what's the first thing we need to do to make the fruit pizza? Hmm. Okay, well, I am excited to have Chef Blippi with us today. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. So can you take this and rip this part off? Okay. And put down the crust. Okay, first, we're gonna open this up, unwrap it, right? Then, whoa, just like that. Do you hear that? Ooh, look at it. <laughs> it's so sticky. Oh, we're gonna take this out. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now we unroll it. We're gonna make it really flat. See, like this. Here we go. Let's see if we can unroll. This is so sticky. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be done. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> Now we move on to step number two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, it in the oven at 350 degrees. That means it's time to dance. Best thing to do while you wait for your pizza crust to finish cooking is have a lot of fun dancing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm pretty tired after all that dancing. I think we should keep on working on the other ingredients, then we'll come back and get the crust a little later. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, so what's the next step? Okay, now we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. Ooh, that's tasty. <laughs> okay, so cream cheese, awesome, and I guess. So we're gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese, which is in that bowl. And now we're gonna add some powdered sugar. Okay. Can you hand me that half a cup measure? Yeah, half a cup. Yeah, right here. Half a cup. Okay. And we're gonna fill it up. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the sugar. It looks like snow. Whoa! It's so cool. And it's really soft when you touch it. <laughs> I bet this is gonna make it so tasty. Okay, so we take the sugar and we're just gonna put it on top. Oh wait, <laughs> you're gonna make a mess. You have to put on an apron first. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. Silly me. <laughs> Here we go. You don't wanna have a sugar mess. Yeah, always make sure you put on an apron so you don't get your clothes covered in powdered sugar or <laughs> other food. Okay, think. I'm just about you need help? ready. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So you can put that in. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Okay, so now what do we do next? Oh, now you're gonna put in two tablespoons of pineapple juice, which is right there. Okay, here we go. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. One tablespoon, woo, <laughs> and two tablespoons. Whoa, it's looking really tasty already. Okay. And now you can mix it up. Woo, okay, I guess we get to mix it up. Here we go. 15 minutes later, <laughs> yeah. Let's check the oven. And Chef Matthew, he gave me some really nice orange gloves. And they're my favorite color! Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get out the crust. Okay, we have the crust right here. Oh, and it looks so flaky and golden brown. I can't wait to eat this yummy crust. <laughs> but let's put a couple more toppings on it because it could taste even better with those. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we'll let this cool off a little more. So. What should we do while we wait? Okay, so. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hey. Now, we're gonna talk about all the fruits that are here on the table. So, uh, this is a banana. Okay. And we'll cut it up. Now remember, if you use a knife, you wanna make sure you have a professional <laughs> like Chef Matthew or a grown-up to help you out, because they can be a little dangerous. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ooh, really good at cutting. <laughs> I'll try my best too. 
Here we go. Okay, so now that the banana slice, what do we do with? Okay, now we have blueberries. Ooh. Blueberries. Ooh. Did you see that? Chef Matthew was teaching us how to sign blueberries in ASO, or American Sign Language. And these are kiwi. Oh, you see these? <laughs> they look so yummy. And there's no sign for kiwi, so you have to spell. Okay. K. K. I. W. W. I. I. Whoa, that was really cool. It's, let's see if we can spell that one more time, a little slower. <laughs> and this time, you can try to follow along with us if you like. Are you ready? So, K. I. W. <laughs> Kiwi doesn't have a sign, so you just spell it. <laughs> Whoa, and what about this over here? These are strawberries. Whoa, have you eaten a kiwi before? <laughs> They're so sweet. <laughs> Chef Matthew, do you have a favorite fruit? And I love have, having strawberries all year round. But during the summer, I love eating blueberries. Ooh, I love eating blueberries in the summer too. <laughs> wow, this smiley face has a really big smile. <laughs> Look at it, whoa. <laughs> you missed the nose. Oh no, what are we gonna do for the nose? Hmm, wait a minute, I know. <laughs> we have a strawberry. <laughs> so silly. This is gonna be a really cool nose <laughs> and I bet this smiley face is really happy because it gets to smell like strawberries all the time. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we need a little more strawberries so it tastes super good. So let's make some strawberry. Some ears. Yeah, let's put some ears on the side. Maybe add a tongue. Ooh, a tongue? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're done decorating all of the pizza. Well, this was so much fun learning about ASL and making a really delicious smiley face treat. <laughs> Wait a minute, Flippy. You missed one thing. Hmm. One very important thing to make a perfect pizza. You need the pineapple glaze. The glaze, oh! <laughs> well, I'll let you do this part, Chef Matthew. And I guess we pour the glaze on top. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, <laughs> the glaze is gonna make it so tasty <laughs> and really sweet. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that looks great. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Matthew, that was awesome. <gasps> we did so many amazing things and followed all the steps to make a really yummy pizza for our feast. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you both. <laughs> And it was nice to have a fun time with you. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we spell my name together? Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. It'll make you want